What's up, Sneaky Nation? Sneaky P here, back with week number two of our Tennessee Titans franchise, with the Titans getting ready to take on the Cleveland Browns. The Titans did pick up a victory in their first week in the game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, where Marcus Mariota led the team both with his arm and his legs, combining for four total touchdowns, leading the rookie quarterback to win AFC Offensive Player of the Week in his NFL debut. He's looking to continue that same success here today against this Cleveland Browns team. The Browns are being led by Johnny Manziel today. Now, they did pick up Zach Mettenberger from this very same Titans team in a trade earlier on in the preseason. However, Mettenberger went down with an injury in their week one victory. So, Manziel took over late in the game. Didn't get a whole lot of plays involved. I think he only threw four passes. Uh, but he's definitely considered, you know, a guy that the Browns wanted for the future at one point in time. It's going to be interesting to see if he kind of reclaims his starting position over these next few games while Mettenberger is out. Let's go ahead and kick things off here. And this one is going to Trey McBride. He is going to field this in the end zone and he takes it out pretty deep there up to the 20 yard line. He breaks the tackle and that's going to be a bad thing as he got pushed back to the 15 yard line. And that is where the Titans will have to start off their drive. Marcus Mariota. Coming onto the field here, as you see his stats, 191 yards, two passing touchdowns in his first game. He also ran for two touchdowns, and he is a threat to make you pay through the air or on the ground. This is Bishop Sankey starting things off for the Titans offense, a four-yard run there. Second and six play action, Mariota down the field, and this is Kendall Wright. A huge gain. Had he not tripped, he could have been gone all the way for a touchdown. It did end up being about 28 yards there. Uh, could have been seven points, though. Bishop Sankey on the left side is going to have a first down to the 42-yard line. Sankey again up the middle this time, and he is going to pick up five yards. Second and five, Sankey once more going to gain about three more. Third and two, and Sankey will have a first down. The Titans offense marching down the field quickly here. Play action on the right side. That is getting swatted away, and with more awareness, that could have been an interception. Second and ten on the right side. This is Delaney Walker out of bounds after picking up two third and eight. Now over the middle, Craig Stevens holds on to the ball down at the 11-yard line, a 14-yard reception there. Now Mariota rolling out. He's looking to scramble into the end zone, and he is going down on about the two-yard line there. Second and one, Bishop Sankey into the end zone. No, they are going to say he was down by contact. First and goal, Sankey can't get in here. It'll be second and goal looking to the end zone. That is not caught by Justin Hunter. Third and goal now and Sankey finally finds his way across the goal line touchdown for the Tennessee Titans in fact it almost looked like the other play was more in the end zone than that one was either way the Titans will escape the drive with seven points and that will bring Johnny Manziel onto the field again he threw three of four for 38 yards at the end of the first week there for the Browns just kind of managing the victory that they already had. Going down the field early to Josh Gordon. And he brings down the reception over Jason McCourty. A 57-yard bomb to the star wide receiver from Baylor. And that is going to set them up on the 13-yard line. Manziel finds Gordon again. Another first down to the 2-yard line here. A handoff. This is Jackie Battle into the end zone. No, he is down now. They are being very vicious. Crowell will find his way into the end zone on the next play the second year running back from Alabama State uh, but it definitely looked like battle was into the end zone much like it did Sankey into the end zone for the Titans drive either way both teams do escape with seven points here Sankey runs for four second and six Sankey again that's not going to do it third and three a big play here and Sankey dives forward picking up that first down up to the 41 yard line a five yard gain there first and ten over the middle, Mariota connects with Kendall Wright. The pass got batted down, and an incredible awareness from Kendall Wright to turn around and make the grab there. The pass was originally tended for Hakeem Nix there, but they were doing a crossing route. Look at this. Reaches behind him, makes the catch, and then gains yards afterwards. What a play from Kendall Wright as McCluster runs it up the middle for the Titans. A gain of about seven, second and three. McCluster again, he will have a first down to about the 28-yard line. Little play action, Mariota looking down the field here. Can't really find anybody. He's going to scramble and pick up about two yards there, or three yards. Second and seven, play action, fooling the defense. Delaney Walker coming back to a pass 
Kind of lobbed up in the air. Dangerous throw. Delaney Walker wise enough to come back to get it as Doriel Green Beckham takes it down to the four yard line. First and goal. We have a penalty on the play to the end zone. Craig Stevens, touchdown for the Titans. This is coming back on a holding call, though. It'll be first and goal from the 14 yard line. Mariota looking to scramble again, picking up some yards and slides down at about the two yard line. A 12 yard gain there. Play action looking in the end zone. Mariota. Cannot find anybody that's open, and he is going down. That is Phil Taylor on the sack. Third and goal on the left side. Hakeem Nix not going to be able to get a touchdown, and the Titans are going to have to settle for a field goal. Suckup will knock it right through the uprights, making the score 10-7 to here early in the second quarter in Cleveland. Manziel hands it off to Crowell who is going to get stuffed there immediately. Second and 12, another handoff. Crowell this time bouncing off his guard, and he is going to pick up about four yards. Third and eight, Manziel looking down the field, going deep to Josh Gordon again. It worked for them earlier. Jason McCourty is going to slap the ball away this time, and it will not work that time as the Titans take back over after a three and out there. Sankey runs for six, second and four. Sankey up the middle, a huge gain to the 44-yard line, an 11-yard run there. First and 10, Mariota looking to scramble the fifth. He has some room. 40, 35, 30. Pushed out of bounds at the 25-yard line. A huge run there from Marcus Mariota. 54 yards on four carries for him. And he is continuing the same success here today as he finds McCluster on a screenplay. A spin move. And McCluster is into the end zone. Touchdown for the Tennessee Titans. Don't do that dance, McCluster. Don't do that. You ruined a beautiful play, man. What was that? 17-7 is going to be the score, and the Browns need to answer here before halftime. Crowell on the right side. That's a good gain of about eight yards there. Second and two play action. Manziel on the right side is going to connect with Dwayne Bow for a first down. This is Crowell again. A little spin move there as he picks up five. Second and five. Manziel over the middle. Finds Josh Gordon all the way down to the 30-yard line. A 19-yard gain there. Crowell breaking one tackle. He will not break break the second a gain uh he doesn't have a gain there however this is going to be an encroachment penalty on the titans so it'll be second and five from the 24 yard line and crowell breaks two tackles still on his feet all the way to the 10 yard line a 14 yard run there by isaiah crowell showing a beast uh play there uh, avoiding those first two tackles. Second and 13, Terrence West is struggling here early on. Third and 12 for Manziel on the right side. The screenplay is not going to work. And uh, Browns are going to have to settle for a field goal here. 10 to 17 is going to be the score. A little over five minutes to go before halftime. And the Titans are going to be looking to make this a two-possession game before the Browns receive the ball in the second half. Sankey is going to run for about a seven-yard gain there. Second and three play action. Mariota scanning the field here. Doesn't see anything he likes, and he is going to run out of bounds. Actually losing some yards on the play. Third and six on the left side. A screen play to Sankey. Not going to work. So a three and out there for the Titans is going to give the Browns an opportunity to get back on the board. And Isaiah Crowell plans on capitalizing all the way across midfield. Still on his feet. Down to the 43-yard line. A monster run from Isaiah Crowell. And that is going to set the Browns up with great field position. Manziel, play action. Scanning the field here. Plenty of time to work with. On the left side, he will find Hawkins down at the 30-yard line. A 13-yard play. Manziel, play action again. Going deep. And this is Gary Barnage. He holds on to the ball. The tight end from Louisville. What a play. Holding on through contact. The coverage was not great. Stafford was there. But it was, I mean, he was there. It wasn't great coverage. It was an incredible catch, though. The tight end from Louisville making it happen. And we have a tie ball game here. The Titans are going to have an opportunity, though. We still have about two minutes to go here before halftime. But they have to get into some kind of rhythm here. Second and eight, Mariota on the left side. Sankey. That's not going to work. Third and five now. The Titans do not want another three and out. And they connect with Kendall right across midfield all the way to the 44-yard line. They're a huge play from the veteran wide receiver. First and 10. Mariota thinking about scrambling. Instead, he will settle for a pass to Sankey. Good for six yards. Second and four. Pressure on its way. And he is going down. That is Chris Kirksey on the sack. He won AFC Defensive Player of the Week last week. And the Browns will take over as they run it into halftime. 17 to 
to 17 is going to be the score here. It's been a very back and forth game. The Titans started off with a lot of momentum, scoring twice early. But the Browns have fought their way back into the game here. And they are going into the second half with momentum. And they're getting the ball first. So they have a shot to take the lead here early in the second half. And the Titans defense needs to step up. They need to put more pressure on a young, inexperienced Manziel if they want to win this game. As the Browns averaging 10.8 yards a play, but the Titans getting all the yards. We are back in the second half now. The Browns are going to start off with the ball, and Crow will get stuffed there. Second and 10 for the Browns. Manziel looking down the field on the left side. Connects with Barnage all the way up the midfield. A 27-yard gain there, but Crow will once more going to be stuffed. It'll be second and 10 here. Manziel looking to throw the ball. Pressure on its way, and that is Stafford getting the sack for the Titans defense there. Third and 17. Manziel is going to have to go deep to pick up a first down here. Instead, he finds Crowell out of the backfield, and that's only going to gain five yards. So the Titans will take over, and now they will have a chance to strike first in the second half. But Bishop Sankey has been struggling all day today. Third and nine play action. Mariota looking down the field, but Barkevius Mingo is going to get a sack, a loss of 10 there, and the Titans will have to punt the ball away. And the Browns will have great field position over the middle. Dwayne Bow, a diving reception to the 44-yard line. And now Crowell bouncing off a few Titans will pick up nine yards. Second and one, Crowell again. Up the middle, breaking a tackle, still on his feet, and he has a 15-yard run down to the 20-yard line there, first and 10. Manziel connects with Dwayne Bow again, all the way to the 3, a 17-yard reception there, first and goal. Jackie battled, that's not going to happen. Second and goal here for the Browns, and Crowell, one of the stars of the drive, will punch his way through the Titans' defense there. Touchdown for the Cleveland Browns. They will strike first here in the second half and take a 24-17 lead. Mariota needs to get something going. And he's not getting a whole lot of help from the running game today. First and 10 on the left side. This is Sankey. And again, that's only going to go for about a yard gain. Second and nine. Bishop Sankey up the middle. He broke one tackle on his way to about a six-yard gain. Third and three here. Mariota looking to scramble. He has a first down and slides down at the 42-yard line. First and 10. Mariota pressure on its way. And he barely gets the ball out of his hands, pulling a Drew Brees there, throwing it while falling to the ground with no call. Third and 10 now. Mariota on the left side. Wide open is Green Beckham, but he falls out of bounds. And the Titans will be forced to punt the ball away. Crowell out of the backfield with the reception about a 12 yard gain to the 32 there Manziel scanning the field on the right side wide open is Barnage all the way across midfield down to the 36 yard line of Titan territory he has been huge here today as Manziel throws that one away second and 10 play action Manziel looking down the field another wild throw there third and 10 here for the Browns they need to make something happen and Barnage is going to deliver to the 21 yard line of Titan territory first and 10 Crowell gets stuffed here Titans defense looking good in the run attack there. Second and nine. This is Hausler, and he's going to take it down to the 13 and eight yard game. Manziel play action looking for Dwayne Bow all the way to the one yard line as we enter the fourth quarter. Crowell on the left side. He's going to get stuffed. No, he breaks the tackle. Isaiah Crowell into the end zone. Touchdown for the Browns as he runs through the bleachers because he is Superman like that. And they are going to jump out to a 31-17 lead here. The Titans defense is not doing a good job here in the second half as Sankey runs for three, second and seven on the right side. This is going to be Delaney Walker for a first down at the 46-yard line, a 10-yard game. Mariota scanning the field. Pressure coming. And he is going to run the ball for about a two-yard gain there. Second and eight, Mariota again on the outside. He will scramble this time. More of a committed run this time. And he's going to take it down to the 40-yard line of Browns territory. First and 10 on the left side. Sankey, a screenplay, cuts back inside on his way to about a five-yard gain. Second and five, McCluster up the middle. And he has a first down to the 27-yard line. First and 10. Mariota looking down the field and Wright cannot hold on to the ball. It will be second and 10, 190 yards passing for Mariota right now. Over the middle, this is Dorio Green Beckham, and he will take it down to the 19-yard line. Third and two, Bishop Sankey will fall forward, picking up a first down at the 17-yard line. Mariota pressure on its way, and that is another sack, and Mariota is injured on the play. Barkevius Mingo making the play his second sack of the day, and Titan fans everywhere are starting. Starting to panic. Second and 17. Sankey on the left side of the field. He is going out at the 16 yard line. Third and 10 here on the right side. Akeem Nix not enough for a first. So Suckup will kick a field goal through the uprights. 20 to 31 is going to be the score. Till a, still a two possession game. But we have plenty of time left to make some plays. 
It is going to require our defense to step up, though. And considering the Browns have 31 points right now, that's not looking good. It'll be a crucial third down play here. Third and two. Crowell up the middle delivers another first down for this Browns offense. Play action. Manziel on the right side connects with Crowell. The 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25. Still on his feet. Breaking the tackle all the way down to the two-yard line before Stafford catches him. A huge play. And that's going to be 339 yards passing for Johnny Manziel here today. He is on fire as Terrence West takes it into the end zone. Touchdown for the Cleveland Browns. And that will give them 38 points on the day the titans defense just not showing up first and 10 this is down the field hakeem nix cannot hold on charlie whitehurst needs to make something happen second and 10 sankey that's not going to work he loses three yards four yards third and 14 over the middle delaney walker has a crucial first down to the 31 yard line first and 10 wild throw by whitehurst there second and 10 now for the titans on the right side this is sankey a screenplay and he will gain about a yard third and nine mccluster on the left side breaks the tackle and he has some room to work with the 40 35 30 25 20 15 10 and he is going to be down at the four yard line a huge play from dexter mccluster on the pass from charlie whitehurst but that was all mccluster making the play there first and goal sankey into the end zone touchdown for the tennessee titans and that's going to put them back up on the board there 27 to 38 is going to be the score three minutes to go here and the browns are just going to try to run this clock out the titans don't have much of a shot here with it being a two possession game with as little time as they have crowell picking up another first down 133 yards rushing for him three touchdowns on the day including the one that we saw from terrence west their running attack dominated the titans defense as you see west breaking free up to the 50 yard line a 14 yard gain there west the last play of the game i believe unless he goes out of bounds which he does after breaking like three tackles there second and three west is going to run this clock out and the browns are going to win 38 to 27 here in cleveland the browns move to 2 and 0 on the season the titans fall to 1 and 1 and definitely not the game that we really wanted to see here marcus mariota went down with an injury i think he will be okay it was only a turf toe injury he should be back uh next week but we'll have to wait and see on that Overall, though, the Titans defense really letting the team down. You know, putting up 27 points, I can't hate on too much. Uh, we don't have a high-octane offense, so that's, you know, considered okay for me. But looking at this, 9.9 .9 yards a play for the Browns, and that is unacceptable. 135.4 quarterback rating for Manziel, 16 of 20, 339 yards, 80% completion there, only one touchdown, but still a monster game. Marcus Mariota, 112.8 quarterback rating, 18 of 24, 198 yards, 75% completion, and a touchdown for him. Then Charlie Whitehurst, 6 of 8 for 89 yards. That huge play to McCluster definitely helped out his stats there. Isaiah Crowell, 22 carries, 135 yards, 6.1 yards a carry and three touchdowns for him that is a monster game from the second year player bishop sankey 20 carries 74 yards only 3.7 yards a carry he really struggled today he did find his way into the end zone twice though we saw marcus mariota eight carries 73 yards for him 9.1 yards a carry bishop sankey had nine catches only good for 34 yards though again he was really was struggling to get some big plays going uh, for this team here today Gary Barnage a monster game four catches a hundred and three yards and a touchdown for him Delaney Walker had four catches for 35 yards Beckham Green Beckham had three catches for 27 yards for the rookie Josh Gordon that monster play down the right side of the field early in the game he had three catches for 87 yards overall uh, and then McCluster had that touchdown reception as well two catches 89 yards for him Delaney Walker two pancakes wow uh, Mingo with 10 total tackles to go with his two sacks today a pretty solid performance from him if we look at the total tackles here I believe it's going to be Gibson leading the way with 15 tackles Mingo second with 10 Stafford with nine uh, sacks two for Mingo one for Stafford one for Kirksey one for Taylor and one for Williams as well for the Browns the Browns did a great job putting pressure on the Titans quarterbacks where the Titans really did not do a great job uh, generating pressure all day long 
on Johnny Manziel, which I said early on, that was going to be a key to this game. We needed to get the inexperienced quarterback out of rhythm. And unfortunately, we couldn't do that. That is going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please smash that like button. It helps me out a lot. We have a lot to go over in the news video next week, including brand new scouting system. I'm looking forward to it. Later.